Catlett, big booms and shaking were felt across the Cape Fear today and have some people worried. What shaking seems to be the question on everyone's mind today after more mysterious movements were felt this morning. WWAY's Katie Harden is here now with more. Katie. Chris, people are booming with Big Bang theories on what they say causes the mysterious rocking and rolling along our coast. Anything that, that, that can shake the houses, not just one or two houses, but a whole neighborhood, and it can be heard from Southport to Bolivia and Sunset Harbor, it has to be something big. Folks across the Cape Fear say the mysterious booms are back, and this time they seem stronger than ever. People had different experiences depending on where they were at the time. It's kind of freaky to me because I heard it, but I didn't see anything. I didn't hear the boom, but then there were we had shaking twice. Everyone we talked to said this was not the first time they've experienced the unknown sound and shaking. Some folks even say they hear the booms every week. One thing's for sure, regardless of what the noise is, people say they just want answers. Seismologists say nothing registered on the Richter scale Tuesday in our area, and the military says they're not responsible for the sounds or shaking. Although scientists and authorities can't seem to pinpoint where the noise is coming from, residents say they have their own theories. I know that there's an explanation, and it has to be military. The ocean. Something with the ocean. I think there are earthquakes. Tremors. Now, some people we've talked to tonight said they're very concerned with the booms now that we're nearing the end of the Mayan calendar, which some people believe marks the end of the world. They say the confusion surrounding the booms only builds up their theory that we're nearing the ends of days. Kaki. Hi everybody, this is Sheila Aliens. Today is February 29th, 2012. So this happened Tuesday, which was yesterday, February 28th, 2012, in Cape Fear, North Carolina. The only thing I can come up with, since there was no seismic activity associated with this, Cape Fear is right next to an Air Force base. And the reason an Air Force base would not own up to this is because it's illegal for them to break the sound barrier over residential areas. There's a lot of laws and fines involved with that. So that's why you always hear about these mysterious booms and nearby Air Force bases will say that they had exercises going on around that time, but that it wasn't them. Well, because they, if they own up to it, then they have to pay big fines and get in trouble, basically with the FAA. And who wants to do that? Let's just call it a mystery. Now, I don't know why people wouldn't see the craft, but then again, maybe it's something they're working on that we don't know about that you can't really see, or people don't really seem to look up all that often anyway, and nobody can even manage to catch one of these mystery booms on camera that I know of. So I don't put it past them to just not see a craft. Not to mention, by the time the boom hits you, the craft is already way past you. It's a good eight seconds, you know, past you. And at that speed, it's going to be gone before you know it. I'd like to hear some more testimonies from people to see what they think it was, because I know what a sonic boom feels and sounds like. I'd like to know if they think that's really what it was. All right, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Much love. Yeah. A 1,200 mile an hour interceptor flying high and level could create a boom that would startle the tens of millions of people along the eastern seaboard in a mere 10 minutes.